Temperatures on the beach were in the mid 90s Tuesday. Destin Beach Safety says the hot weather could have been an issue. We responded to a call of five to six people needing assistance. When the lifeguards arrived on scene, it was actually one person that was already on the bottom of the Gulf. Yellow flags were flying today in Destin, same as Tuesday. The Okaloosa County Sheriff's Office says Mallet and a group of people were struggling to swim back to shore when Mallet went underwater. Destin Beach Safety Division Chief Joe D'Agostino says it's important for swimmers to understand their bodies when performing activities like swimming and to be aware of extremely hot conditions at the beach. There's a multitude of things that can, that can impact a swimmer. Um, their current health condition, people can have a seizure or a heart attack or any, any other sort of uh, uh, malady that they may already suffer from could take place while they're in the water. Um, it could be heat exhaustion, it could be low blood sugar. He says the main concern while at the beach is heat exhaustion. If you stop sweating, you're in trouble. Yeah, if you stop sweating, you need to be sweating regardless of what it is that you're doing. Even most likely if you're just sitting there in the shade. Dagsino says the majority of the people his beach patrol ends up rescuing are visitors. Some of our visitors, they grossly overestimate their fitness level and their swim ability. If you can't swim in a pool and you can't swim at a lake make in your hometown, just because you've come to the Gulf doesn't mean all of a sudden that you can magically know how to swim. He encourages people to swim in front of lifeguards when possible and drink lots of water. Tonight at 6, I'll share what beachgoers think about safety when they plan to go to the beach. And Destin, Shade Ray, WEAR News.